Welcome to Dan's Messy Garage. Only today, I'm not at the garage. I'm at Pontiac Lake Recreation Area and the Beach. Beautiful area. Lots of grass, lots of tables. There's three outhouses, fishing piers. It's wonderful. But today I'm really not here to show you the beach or the park area. I'm walking in the sand right now. It's wonderful. Um, I know the wind is bad, so I don't know how this video is going to turn out. But I brought my van. I have a camper van. And I'm going to cook some lunch or I guess it would be a really dinner. It's three o'clock August third. It's gotta be in the mid eighties. It's a beautiful day. And maybe after uh, I eat my wonderful lunch I'll come out here and go for a little swim. See you in a minute. I'm in the parking lot heading over toward my van. It's a 99E350 Ford van that I turned into a camper van. And I'll just give you a quick scan here. Parking lot area. It's big. Not a lot of people here today. Um, up there is a uh, one of the, I call them outhouses, but they're not outhouses. They're big brick buildings with, you know, proper stalls and running water, sinks. In fact, that one I just pointed to, got some little outdoor shower type things on it too. Okay, I'm gonna open up the van to kind of show you what we'll be working with. Yeah, this is my rusty, crusty van. There, there, up in there, back there. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's rusty. It's okay. It works for me. And let's see here. Get unlock it. All right, I have a cabinet set up there. Solar generator in the middle. I have another solar generator and back under the, the seat and the bed. Yeah, I really can't see all that. There's my couch that turns into a bed, storage, stuff like that. The sink cabinet here, I have my food in there. I took a, I'm gonna make what I call Polak pork and beans. I got a pork steak and I in this electric pot which is wonderful by the way it has a low and a high setting right in there I have black beans and some uh, mushrooms I got a gas stove a couple of shelves that go on this kitchen cabinet on those two strips there in fact, I'm going to set the camera down and get that ready, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I got my lunch din din on. Got a wind deflector around the fry pan in this pot. And my beans are already starting to boil. That thing is great, by the way. This is a butane propane stove by gas one it's also a great item works good and uh, won't be long before it's done see in the van hard to see but in front of my couch bed I got a table and got a TV right now I just got an old uh, Western of some sort on there, black and white. Um, but uh, 
getting hungry just smelling it. Talk to you later. Bye. Little tiny home camper camping tip. Instead of bringing lots of spices, just get yourself some sort of a spice that has a lot of things in it. Like this one's got garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, parsley, you know, orange peel, green and red bell peppers, etc. And then doctor it up. Add some more salt and pepper to your taste. Add some more onion, more garlic. Keep it in one container and just use it for everything. It's a camping tip that really, really works out well. And it's a real shame you don't have smell-o-vision or smell YouTube. The aroma coming off that sizzling pork steak and the bubbling black beans and mushrooms is, is just amazing. I'm really going to enjoy this. I started to talk a little earlier about my shelf that clips on to my sink cabinet. It's a, it's a two shelf system. It, it goes on super easy, clips right on there. And this, this main shelf doubles as a counter that spans between my sink and that cabinet. It goes right across there. Um, right now I'm using it outside as my cooking shelf. And it, it's looking like that's about done. So I'm gonna end this video and start eating. Look at that. Would you just look at that? I got my take on Polish pork and beans. Pork steak smothered with black beans, mushrooms. Got some iced tea in my comfortable van. Watching some, I don't know, black and white, looks like a uh, rifleman show can't have the sound on because YouTube gets all cranky and crying about copyright laws and so you can't have any music or anything in your videos but I'm hungry I'm gonna eat bye put the pan away man that was an excellent excellent lunch din din just want to give you uh, some more tips even though I have a sink and I have running water, um, on down in the bottom of this, I have seven gallons of fresh water and another seven gallon tank in there for all, all the gray water. Anyways, to do dishes in small areas, van camping and uh, tiny homes or van dwelling or whatever you want to call it, a lot of people use a strong solution of vinegar, vinegar and water. It's about a third to a half vinegar and the rest water. And you just, you know, spray that on your dishes. Wipe it up, paper towel. And if you want, you can use plain water to rinse them off. Or you can also keep soap and water in a container. But these little spray bottles are great. You know, that lasts a long time. Uh, most of the time, all you need to do is cl to clean dishes is use the vinegar and water. And uh, it does a surprising job of removing grease and keeping things nice and clean. And I have a little basket up here that I just keep all the stuff in. And it keeps it from rolling around on the counter and stays there. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, my, my meal was outstanding. I had a good day at Pontiac Recreation Area Beach. I couldn't go swimming, though. They had signs saying that the beach was closed for some reason. And there's people on it sunbathing and a couple kids here and there in the water, but mainly it was closed, so... I'm back home, and uh, 
I hope you enjoyed my little video, and I kind of hope that you'll try making Polish pork and beans. Have a good one. Bye.